Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. Man arrested for insulting intimidating President Buhari, Governor Yahaya in Gombe State. Mohammed had appeared in a video that went viral on social media where he attacked President Buhari and Governor Yahaya. A man who identified himself as Yusman Mohammed has been arrested and charged to court for allegedly insulting President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Muhammad Inuwa Yahaya of Gombe State. Muhammad had appeared in a video that went viral on social media where he attacked President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Yahaya. He also threatened to lead a team to attack the duo. He said, I swear to God, I am Mus Yusman Muhammad. I was born in Bamba, Balaga, local government, Gombe State. Oh Allah, destroy Buhari and Inuwa Yahaya into pieces. If I can get one million persons like me, I will lead them to attack and deal with them. Go ahead and put it in the internet. Let them come and arrest me if they wish. Gombe, Gombe State Police Public Relations Officer Mary Malum confirmed Mohammed, uh, Mohammed's arrest to Sahara reporters. She said he has been charged to court for insulting and intimidating President Muhammad Buhari and Governor Yahaya. The suspect has been charged to court for intentional insult and intimidation, she said. Wow, I tell you, wonders shall never end. In this our country, Nigeria, eh? they like to do the irre irrelevancy. Trust me, this is what we are talking about. Nigerians is not, is not in a good direction. Look at the insurgency. Look at the Boko Haram. There is nothing for them to do about it. Now they are now arresting a common man. Eh? But my question is this. As a leader, definitely, as a leader, prepare to, 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 to take insult. Prepare yourself to, take, to accept embarrassment. Prepare yourself to accept a lot of things. That is leaders for you. This is to tell you that these are our leaders. They don't even have time. They don't even have time for a good thing. Somebody insulted the president and governor Yahaya. And now they arrested the person because of what such person said. Come on. So if, if the old Nigeria insulted the president, this is to which means that they will arrest everybody in Nigeria. Is that the meaning of what they are talking about? Come on. There are a lot of things that this country needs to even put into shape. But they are not doing it. But what I can say to this issue is that they should please release this man called Yusman Muhammad. Because the situation in this country what to insult any leaders who does not satisfy his people. Because like when, when we look at the, the, the past leaders... For example, good luck, Jonathan received insult. That is more than that is even more than this. But he did not even arrest anybody. We are in a democracy, please. What I can say is that they should release the man. There are a lot of things to, to even settle in Nigeria. It is not even all these irrelevant things. Because what I can say is that uh, because of the situation in Nigeria, because of the, or, 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 of the hardship that is in Nigeria, that might even make this man to, to, even, to even say what he said. Because I feel that the man is depressed. And that is why he insulted the president. And besides, we are in a democracy. We all have the freedom of speech. And that is the problem that we have in the country, Nigeria. The freedom of speech is lacking. By the time they see you that you come out and speak the truth, trust me, they will attack you. And it is not supposed to be so. So let's hear what people are saying about it. You know, people were saying that which Buhari is Yusman Muhammad, a bomb bomb born indigenous is insulting. Gombe State Police Public Relations Office. Mary Malum, please, which of the Buhari's first, second or third Buhari did he insult? Tell us we are waiting. If you do good, God will bless you. If you do bad, God will judge you. That is it. A government that does good and a government that is doing good right now, God will bless them and God will increase them. 
But a government that is not even doing good, that is doing bad, definitely. It took fall back to them. And that is how exactly it is. That is exactly how it is. You know, people were saying that so you people can arrest persons who insult President and Governor Abi, but police cannot arrest anyone bandits in Castina and any other, pers- any other part of Nigeria. May God help us. May God help us from this, our Nigerian word, Palaba. I'm waiting a few talk now because the, 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 the situation is, is unbearable. The situation is unbearable. You know, people were saying they're arresting and persecuting innocent citizens because they are exercised their fundamental rights bestowed upon them by the constitution of Nigeria is not acceptable. The police, the judiciary should be an independent arm of government and not a rubber stamp. Interpret the law, which is your function. His Excellency Dr. Gulok Jonathan Ebele was criticized alongside his wife. But he never arrested anyone. The, the, you, you know, they said we are in a democratic dispensation and not any form of tyranny and dictatorship freedom of speech. Nigeria is becoming dictatorial, dictatorial like North Korea. Is our leaders practicing a real democracy recently as before? So the masses cannot even express their grievances and displeasure anymore. The government has nothing to do rather, rather than sit back and make a necessary recommendations to address the issues. So therefore, Muhammad must be released immediately without any conditions. What I can say is that we are supposed to have our freedom of speech. We are supposed to have our freedom of speech. But why is it that our government are even stopping it? They don't want to hear the truth. They don't. They don't want to hear a single truth. Because with, with what we just read right now, it shows that the man spoke his mind. That is it. And he could have been interrogated by the police and the government. You know, he, he, he spoke his mind and God gave us this freedom of speech, freedom to talk. Eh? L- l- let me give an example of Donald Trump in America, the president of America. Can we even count the number of times that he was being insulted? Can we even count the number of times that a lot of people actually cause him? Can we count the number of times that people actually uh, embarrass him? And now, can we even say how many times that he even arrested somebody because some, somebody embarrassed him? I have never heard that. I have never heard a case whereby Donald Trump arrested someone because of an insult. May God help us in, in this, our Nigerian government. A lot of things is definitely going wrong. What I can say is that they should, they should release this guy and face the important things. The ex-men are there, disturbing the whole country. They should focus on those ones. The insurgencies are there. They should focus on those ones. There are so many important things that needs to be figured out in the country. Not somebody that came out and even speak his or her mind. You know, may God help us. May God help us. I will keep saying this. Nigeria is something else. So guys, what is your own take? What do you think about this? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comments at the comment section. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news. Thank you so much. Always stay safe. And please stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to everyone to follow the normal procedure. God bless you. Bye.